Okay, so let's have a look at how we can include some of the uh, social networking links directly inside of our Autodesk Inventor user interface. So what I've uh, done initially is I've set myself up some icons. So if I navigate to my users folder, uh, into public, and then into public documents, Autodesk and Inventor 2011, you'll see this is where my default IVB, which is my default Inventor Visual Basic, uh, file lives and you'll also notice that I've got a number of bitmap images um, all named similar so we've got the module name so this is the visual basic module name plus the name of the macro and then large dot BMP so what this is standing for is name of the module name of the macro and then whether it's a 32 by 32 pixel image uh, which would be the large one or in this case the small one as well which is a 16 by 16 bitmap image you need both of those so you need 132 by 32 and 116 by 16 and you can see i've got one for each of the macros that we're going to create so i've got one for autodesk one for the blog one for facebook one for Flickr, um, etc so they need to be stored in the same file folder that the IVB is stored in. So I'm using the default IVB, so I've stored it in my Inventor 2011. If you're using your own IVB file, just make sure that you store the bitmap images in the same location. So now that I'm happy with that, into Inventor, go to my Tools ribbon, I'm just gonna go to my VBA editor, and I've got module one, which is where I'm gonna place my, uh, my macros. So I've got these as a in, in a notepad so I can just copy and paste these now you can download these from uh, from my blog which is autodeskmfg.blogspot.com now the first thing I'm going to do is just take this top section this is where we declare the initial functions and this needs to go at the top of the uh, of the module so I'm just going to copy that and it needs to go above any existing routines that you've got in here or any any existing functions that you've got in here so we're we're declaring these functions right at the top of our our module here back to my notepad take all of these macros copy them and let's just paste them in now you'll notice that they're actually pretty straightforward there's no real rocket science behind these it doesn't have it has to be like that because I'm not a rocket scientist um, but you can see that the the public sub, which gives us the name of the, the macro, also reflects the name that we're going to see on the icon. And then you can also see that we've got a URL here as well. And the URL is obviously the, the browser, um, or the URL that the browser is going to navigate to when it opens up. So I've got all of those in here. And you can add more if you want. So in this case, I've got uh, Sean Dotson's MCAD forums website, um, so we can add that in. So you can add your own in there as well, if needs be, just by copying and pasting that text or that that macro, changing the, the name and then also changing the URL. Now, each of these macros will open up your default browser, so it doesn't matter whether you're using Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera, any of those uh, browsers, they will um, it will work with those. So now that I've got those macros in there, I'm going to go to my Getting Started tab because it's this ribbon that I actually want to place those tools on. So I'm going to right click and go to Customize User Commands. Click on my drop down and go to Macros and you'll see that I've got all of those macros now all available to me. And you'll notice that we've got the small 16 by 16 icons there. I'm just going to choose the ones that I want. And then I'm going to specify that I want a large icon and I also want the text underneath them as well. I'll say OK. And there you go. Across the top of my Getting Started ribbon, I've got Autodesk. I've got a link to my blog, my Facebook group, the Flickr gallery, my Twitter feed, and also my YouTube channel as well. So if I was to click on blog, there we go. I've got my blog loaded. Oh, and look, there's the post telling you how to add social network links into Autodesk Inventor. Um, if we go to Flickr, I'll get my Flickr gallery. There we go. There's the Flickr gallery showing examples of all the work that we've done using Autodesk Inventor. 
So there you go, that's how you quickly and easily add in any social networking links directly into the Autodesk Inventor interface.